Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be seeing an example for the selection sort algorithm that we have studied uh, its concept, its logic in the previous video. Okay, so let's assume that we have an unsorted list consisting of the numbers 8, 7, 13, 1, minus 9 and 4. I would suggest that you uh, do this example as you watch this video on your own also. Note down this list and if you have understood the selection sort algorithm, uh, start doing this example on your own and then you can check from this video ahead how uh, we proceeded and what is the correct way and whether you have got the right answer in the right number of iterations or not. Okay, so we are trying to sort this list in the ascending order. It is pass 1 and in pass 1 we will assume that the element, the smallest element that we have seen so far is the first element itself. Okay, so the minimum element that uh, we have is now 8 which is the first element in the list. The entire list is unsorted as of now. So we assume that the first element of the unsorted list is the minimum. Now, in every iteration of this pass, we will compare this value of minimum with the new element that we are seeing. So, we will check whether the new element which is 7 is less than the current minimum. The current minimum is 8. So, yes, 7 is less than the current minimum. So, we change the value of current minimum. The minimum now stores the value 7 and now the minimum has become 7. And we are comparing this value with the next element, this element which is element number 13. Since minimum is smaller than the current value 13, so we will not change the minimum as of now. Okay. Next, we compare the minimum element 7 with the element 1. Now, when we compare 7 and 1, we find that 1 is smaller than the current minimum value. So, we now have a new minimum value and this value is now 1. So, here keep in mind that we are not swapping. We will never swap elements until we have reached the end of the pass, until we know that in this entire pass, after traversing all the elements, we are sure that this value is the minimum out of all the elements. So first, you will check every element and once you have reached the end of the unsorted list, then only and the, at the end of the pass, you will swap it. Okay. So now our current minimum becomes 1. And now we will compare it with the value 9, which is the, sorry, with the value minus 9, which is the next element that we are seeing. Since minus 9 is again smaller than the current minimum, so we update our minimum element and now our minimum has the value minus 9. Okay, now the minimum element is minus 9 and we compare it with the next element, which is 4. 4 is not less than the minimum element. Uh, so, therefore, we do not do any change in minimum. And now we have reached the end of the unsorted list. Now we will perform the swapping. And the minimum value that we have found so far, this value will be swapped with the leftmost element of the unsorted list. Since the entire list is unsorted, so we will swap minus 9 with the leftmost element of the unsorted list which is 8 and 8 will be placed at the position of minus 9. So, in the beginning of the new pass, you, your list will now look like this. You have a sorted part of the list as we said that selection sort divides the entire list of elements into a sorted part and an unsorted part. So, it, after the first pass, you will get some sorted part which will contain of one element and that element is the smallest element of all the elements present in that list. Now, in this pass, we will again maintain a new minimum value, compare it with all the remaining unsorted elements. So, the unsorted elements are now five elements. And out of these unsorted elements, we'll now find what is the minimum. Then whatever minimum we find, we will append it to the end of the sorted portion or 
to the leftmost side of the unsorted part that means it is the same okay so let's come to pass 2 in pass 2 we first assume that currently we are seeing the minimum element as 7 at the beginning of every pass the first element of the unsorted list will be assumed to be the value of minimum then we are comparing this value with the next element present in the unsorted portion which is 13 since 7 which is the minimum for this iteration is less than 13 so we will not update the value of minimum then we will compare 7 the minimum value with the next element which is 1 since 1 is smaller than the minimum Therefore, we get a new minimum value and we update the value of minimum element. Now, the minimum for this particular pass is 1. Now, this value of minimum will be compared with the next element which is 8. 8 is greater than 1. So, again, we will not update the minimum. Then, we will compare 1 with 4. Again, since 4 is greater than 1, minimum will not be changed. Now we have reached the end of iteration and the end of pass 2. So what we are doing? We are swapping the element which is minimum with the leftmost element of the unsorted list. Remember that minus 9 is the sorted part of the list. So the leftmost element of the unsorted list is 7. Okay, so we will place 7 in the position of 1 and we will shift 1 to the place of 7. So therefore, swapping occurs and the new uh, list that you get for pass 3 seems something like this. This particular area is sorted. Now the sorted part consists of two elements, minus 9 and 1. And be very careful in further passes and iterations, you do not have to consider uh, these sorted elements for comparison okay so now this is a new pass so we'll assume that the unsorted list consists of a minimum value and that minimum value is 13 which is the first element of the unsorted list so the current minimum value is 13 we will compare it with the next element which is 7 since 7 is less than minimum 13 so we will change the value uh, of minimum and minimum basically we are maintaining a variable okay so or a pointer that is pointing to the minimum uh, element of this particular pass so now we'll update the minimum and minimum now becomes 7 now we'll compare this value with the next element which is 8 since 8 is greater than 7 no change in the minimum will occur now we'll compare minimum with 4 which is the next element and the last element of the unsorted list so since 4 is less than 7 therefore we will swap it and this is the end of pass 3 so uh, the minimum for this pass is 4 its position will now be changed it will come at the leftmost position of the unsorted uh, part and the element present at that position which is 13 will be swapped with 4. So for fourth pass the list looks something like this. You have three elements which are present as uh, uh, in the sorted list. 4, uh, minus 9, 1 and 4. And the unsorted list consists of three elements which is 7, 8 and 13. So for this pass we assume that our current minimum is 7 the first element of the unsorted part and then we compare it with element 8 since 8 is greater than 7 minimum will not be updated similarly we compare it with 13 again no updation occurs now we have found the minimum for this pass but it is actually present at its correct position it is already present at the leftmost uh, uh, position of the unsorted list so we will just extend the sorted portion without swapping okay so now when you go in pass 5 you will have your list looking like something like this it will consist of four elements minus 9 1 4 and 7 and the unsorted part consists of two elements 8 and 13 
in this pass you will assume that currently the minimum at the beginning of this pass is 8 then you will compare it with the element 13 since 13 is greater than the minimum it will not be changed minimum value will not be updated and finally you will get this sorted list because the minimum for this iteration which is 8 is already present at its correct location the uh, list the part sorted part will directly be extended without any swapping and since out of the six elements five elements are now present at their correct locations so therefore the sixth element which is 13 is also present at the correct location and this is the final solution so please note that there were six elements and we have sorted this list in five uh, passes so uh, n elements need n minus 1 passes to sort using selection sort. So this was an example for selection sort. I hope you have understood the concept. In the next video, we will see the algorithm and the implementation of selection sort in Python. Thank you for watching. Till we meet in the next video. Find your exam.